How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It's Torben Tuesday. Torben Tuesday is a day where we get clues from Forza themselves about what is going to be in the next update. Clues about the new cars and features and stuff like that. We're going to cover all the clues in this video. We're going to solve them. I'm going to show you how they've been solved and we're going to figure out what is coming. If you do enjoy it's Torben Tuesday videos like this and update videos in general, make sure to subscribe. This is the number one place for Forza news. So what's in Torben Tuesday this month? As usual, Torben Tuesday was over on Twitter and all it was this month, it wasn't an image, it wasn't anything like that. It was just a number. It was nine digits long. That is the entire Torben Tuesday. Now, it didn't really take many people to figure out what this nine digit number was. Well, this nine digit number is actually a share code. Let's deep into it. As you know, on Horizon 5, when you create a design, an event, a race, it gets a share code and you can share that code with your mates so they can use your design or play your race. If we search up the share code, this is what comes up. It is a race that's titled Torben Tuesday Pig Pen. I think you pronounce that pig pen, I'm not sure. That will be a clue for later on. If we have a look at the description of the race, this is what it says. Eight across, six down, two down, pig pen cipher. So once again, we um, have even more clues there. Now this sounds like a bit like a crossword. If you remember last month in the Torben Tuesday image we got, there was a QR code on the whiteboard which took us to a secret crossword. Now we did fill this out and complete a few things that they gave us clues for, but there was a lot left over and it seems like this month's sort of Torben Tuesday is going to help us complete it even more. Um, but the most, the most exciting thing is actually within the event itself. So let's forget about the cipher, let's forget about the eight across, six down, two down and go into the event. Now if you saw on the image, the event is just a straight line race across the stadium. That's all it is. It's not difficult, it's just a straight race. But the key to this is that there is a bunch of obstacles and walls within the stadium in a line and these are the clues. We can see that we have three sections separated by two walls and each section actually says a word and we use a cipher to crack what this word means. Now we already know what cipher is needed because they basically tell us that it's a pig pen one. Now if you google that cipher you'll find all sorts of information about it and how to break it down but you'll more importantly find this image here which is a very easy way to figure out um, how to crack these words. So we'll start on the one on the right hand side and we can see that there's not many shapes but starting over on the left hand side we can see a square right here with what looks to be a green dot in the middle of it. Now this represents the letter N as you can see over here and then next to that we've got sort of a, a right angle sort of up and then right. This is over here as you can see that is the letter I and then we have two identical symbols which is a v and then another v these are the letter s as you can see over here that is what the letter s is so if you complete all of the other letters this right hand section creates the words nissan z okay so nissan z is what we have so far now obviously there are quite a lot of nissan z's that exist the 350z the 370z but the one that stands out that everybody wants in the game is the nissan 400z is this finally coming to the game? I can't think of any other Zs that it would be other than the Nissan 400Z. So that is what the right hand one says. We'll go to the crossword a bit later on. The middle section, as we can see here, this is a little bit longer. And if you go along, you complete it all, you will get the words Urban Rebel. Now I hadn't actually heard of this before I Googled it. And these are what I find. It is a Cupra Urban Rebel. It seems like that is what they are hinting at. So there's, it's probably safe to presume that this car is presumably coming to the game along with the Nissan Z because that's what the middle section hints towards. Looks like quite a cool car to me, so I'm not complaining. Over on the left hand side, we have the final section. And this is probably one of the most exciting ones in my opinion. It's a really long one. You already get the gist of it of how we solve it. If we solve all of it, it spells out the words Cian Roadster. What's this? It's the Lamborghini Cian Roadster. Now this will be an awesome car to have in Horizon 5. We've got Cian Roadster, the Urban Rebel and the Nissan Z. Those are the three words that the, the, this clue on the stadium floor reads out to be. Those three cars could very well be coming to the game 
in the next update or the update after that, whenever this Torben Tuesday is coming. But that's not all, because if you remember, we have the crossword and the clues in the description of the race. As I said, the description of the race, it says eight across, six down and two down. Well, if we get the crossword from last month, things actually start to get very confusing, because if we look at it, there isn't actually a six down. There is a two down, which the Nissan Z fits very nicely in. That makes sense. There's an eight across where the Urban Rebel sits very nicely in. But when you come to the six down, there is no six down. There's a six across and it's three, did, it's three letters long. So that is instantly very confusing. The Sea and Roadster is presumably the third one that we have to put on because we put the Nissan and the Urban Rebel. But Sea and Roadster doesn't fit anywhere on here. I spent a very long time wondering what have I done wrong? What have they done wrong? I actually created a six down column just in case that they cocked up and put six down instead of six across. I don't know. Until I noticed that on the secret QR thing from last month, if you go at it now, they have actually updated the crossword and changed it. This is what it looks like now. As you can see, they have added a, a sort of a row on the right hand side. They've changed a few of the numbers around. And now, finally, it all makes sense. We can keep ray tracing Rocket Bunny and Donut Media on there since they were on there before. Nissan Z still fits there. Eight across still fits there. But now it says C and Roadster. And then we have six down, which says Urban Rebel. This is the crossword that's up to date now. Now, many people were disappointed about the crossword last month because we wondered what on earth do all of the other columns mean? We didn't have a clue. Now we can see that they are giving us clues over time as to what's completing the crossword. Now we still have the three letter word over on the left hand side that ends in M. We're still yet to crack that one. But now we have a bit of a helping hand with the middle one, uh, number five, because we know there's an E in it and there's an S in it. Now there's a very small chance that this is going to be one full word. There's a very good chance that this is going to be a car. So what I've done is I've gone and have a look at what car manufacturers have the second letter as a letter E. So we can actually put those cars there and see what this column could mean. Just try to complete the rest of the crossword. Now the car manufacturers that have the second letter as a letter E are Bentley, Renault, Ferrari, Jeep, Lexus and Mercedes. All six of these car manufacturers could possibly be here on the crossword, which leaves the bottom portion, the rest of the letters of that row, to be the model name. So if it's a Bentley, there is then five letters left, the second which is an S. Same as Ferrari. We have a model name that has the second letter as S. You get what I'm trying to say. So if anybody can think of any Bentley, Ferrari, Renault, Jeep, Lexus or Mercedes that has a model name that fits perfectly into this row, maybe that is the next step to the crossword. As I said earlier, we don't know exactly which month this Torben Tuesday is for. I can presume it's for Series 15. Now, for the rest of next month, what else do we know we're going to get? We have the splash screen, obviously, that says coming soon. We know that it comes on the 8th of December and it's going to be called Horizon Holidays. It's going to have the ice rink returning, new cars, which we've just figured out, Christmas decorations and a collectible. We don't know if any of this is going to be new. There were a few things said on the last live stream and it sounds like they are just bringing back last year's decorations and stuff like that. We might get a secret Santa again, but for now, this is everything we know about Series 15. So we will see next week if we get another Torben Tuesday. If not, in two weeks, we'll find out what's in the update. Anyway, guys, please leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this. I'll see you all later.